Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtagore Band here, and today I am bringing you a two versus two river crossing battle in Rome 2 Total War. And uh, this was a fun one, it was a pretty epic one. Our Roman infantry played out very well. Many of them died, but we still played out very well. And uh, I'm kind of loving this frozen landscape for the winter river crossing battle as well. So you can see that the river has not frozen over as of yet, or it probably has just thawed. And that is the reason that we have the Swaby pushing forwards to the Roman side, hopefully planning to slaughter all of us and take possession of the other side of the river. So you can see my deployment is over here. Basically, there's two Roman armies, myself and my ally. And then we have a Swabian force facing me and a Carthaginian force facing my ally. So let's take a look at the army compositions very quickly, and then we'll get the battle started. It was on ultra funds. The rules were... Um, no artillery, no elephants, and maximum two pikemen, and maximum four of the same kind of infantry. So that just, you know, keeps us from spamming, you know, the most of the elite units, uh, to some degree, you will see in a minute. But, uh, I've got two units of eagle cohort in the back, so I'm saving my best infantry for last. And then right in the center, I've got two units of Praetorian Guard. So that's my four units of most elite infantry. And then I have uh, four units of Evocati cohorts. So these are guys are kind of uh, mid to higher tier. They're still very heavy melee infantry. Uh, by the way, how much would it suck to have to be in the winter and be wearing sandals? Uh, that would be freezing. I'm sure there's they've got a lot of frostbite injuries. And then in the front, I've got four units of first cohort. So this is my lowest tier infantry, but they are still heavy melee infantry and still quite formidable in the battlefield. So that is it for my infantry force. And then I have two units of Sochi Equite Extraordinary. So good uh, shock cavalry. Hopefully I'll be able to get across the river at one point and get some good charges. And then I've got my general in here too. He's mixed in general and bodyguard. And then for my ranged force, over here on this side, I've got two units of auxiliary Balearic Slingers. Looking pretty mighty fine. And then way over on this side, I've got three units of auxiliary Syrian Archers. And you can see that they're already poisoned, ready to fire down on the enemy, which is excellent. So let's take a look at the Swabians over here. So it looks like he's Vanguard deployed a unit of Night Hunters. I think his plan was to try to gain the other side of the river's edge before I could set up a good defense, which is a valid strategy. And then he's following it up with a couple of Germanic scout units and some noble riders. So, again, he's going to use the spears to kind of slow my infantry and bog me down, and then he's going to use these noble riders to kind of get around the flanks. And then in behind here, he's got two units of spiel wall, spear wall. Ugh, spiel wall. Spear wall. Uh, these guys are pretty trash. They're not anything that we're going to have to worry about. And then in behind, he's got some horse runners over here. So these guys are skirmishers. And then he has uh, some more horse runners over on this flank. And I think he had some Celtic youths as well for skirmishers. Not exactly sure where they are. But uh, he has some berserkers here as well. So hopefully these guys will be tearing apart my heavy Roman infantry. Uh, you can see their stats there. Melee attack and melee damage is decently high. Their morale is high and their health is high. The only problem is their armor is very low. So hopefully you can use those effectively. And then he has one unit of hex bearers. And then he has four units of sword masters. And he's got a fifth sword master with his general. So five units total. He, uh, the player did ask if it was okay if he could bring five of the same unit if one was the general. And that was that was okay with both, both of us. <clears throat> so looking at my ally, he kind of went for a Praetorian or nothing build. Uh, he does have some archer presence. So he's got, I think, uh, three units of this auxiliary Syrian archers. And then he has two units of the Auxiliary Balearic Slingers as well. And then basically his army, he's got four units of Praetorians. Which is very heavy melee, inf or heavy melee infantry. And then he has... Uh, where is his Praetorian? Oh, he's got one unit of Triaria, which he's going to use as a meat shield. And then he has four units of Praetorian Guard. So he's basically bringing Praetorian and Praetorian Guard. That's all he's bringing. But he did respect the rule of max four of the same kind of unit. 
And then he's brought a general and bodyguard as well. So almost done, guys. Thanks for hanging in. We've got Carthage over here as the last but not least player. He's got uh, two units of mercenary. Oh, no. He's got one mercenary Balearic Slinger, one mercenary Cretan Archer. And it looks like he's got another of each over in the center. And then he's bringing some Sacred Band. These guys look amazing, and hopefully he uses them effectively in the battlefield. I would have them at the back, though. I would wait until the end, because I don't want them to get shot up by, you know, the enemy archer fire. So it looks like he has three units of them. And then in behind, he's got some Mercenary Italian Swordsmen. This looks like he's got two units there. And then over here, he's got some Libyan Infantry and some Mercenary Noble Fighters. And more Libyan infantry over here, so that's four total. And then he's got a general and bodyguard. So yeah, the battle is going to begin right away on my flank. So let's zip over here to see the start of the battle. I'm pushing forwards my first cohort as quickly as possible. And uh, here we go. Let's get some good uh, sounds of the marching as well. Yeah, you can see the horses pushing really hard to try to get uh, a gain on this side of the river, but I've just zoned them out with this unit of first cohort, so that is excellent. Uh, they are going to try to fire into my infantry. You can see on the hill I'm moving forwards my uh, Sochi Equite Extraordinary just in case he tries anything funny, but we are just mowing down these spears with our Bila. And I realized that we kind of nerfed that charge, so I'm going to go ahead and form up with my other two units of uh, first cohort. So we we were very effective there in kind of pushing back that frontal assault. The night hurlers or night hunters, sorry, they're moving out of range of my uh, slingers and archers. And the next line of defense, the spear wall is going to be going into melee, but I'm not sure how effective they are going to be against my first cohort. Yeah, you can see my Roman infantry just ready to go over on the other side of this river crossing. Now I am firing at these at these uh, spear wall, but I do eventually stop firing because I do look at his army composition and realize he has some more valuable units like the berserkers and the sword masters that I would want to focus. But yeah, it's a little bit of a skirmish battle here, but I'm more than happy for him to kind of fire into my first cohort. They are my cheapest infantry one, and number two, I want him to waste all of his ammunition because these guys are super heavy as far as infantry goes. As you can see on the other side of the battle, nothing's happening just yet. So let's uh, line up and watch this engagement here. Yeah, see, I am taking some casualties, but not as many as he is. And here comes my Pila firing into these light spears. Ooh, yeah, deadly. And here's the charge. Yeah, these light spears are not going to fare well against my heavily armored legionaries. Let's zoom into the action here. See if we can find uh, some some decapitation or maybe some leg sweeps. So we are holding very well so far. You can see that my first cohort is pretty healthy. Uh, he did move up a couple units of horse runners, but my Balearic Slingers have way better range than he does. And I think I just get a couple of volleys in them as they're kind of moving back out of range on the other side of the hill there. Yeah, getting some good kills, firing in the backs of them. So yeah, he realized that he's bested on that flank. I've stopped firing with my archers because I'm going to wait till he moves in some of his more elite infantry. Over here, you can see the battle is just starting to kick off. We've got the Triarii, the poor meat shields, moving into range of all of those Carthaginian archers. Which is too bad because this Triarii unit, they're made up of nobles. So these guys are the experienced and elite fighters for Rome, so it's too bad that they've had to answer this call. 
But yeah, we're still, uh, it's still pretty quiet over here as of right now. So we're gonna move on back to my side of the battle. You can see that I've got my uh, Ev Evocati cohort moved in as well. And I've got them, I've got them ready to go into battle at a moment's notice. My auxiliary Balearic Slingers, you can see that I'm firing into this unit of Swordmasters. And I'm gonna get some good flanking fire to them as I move into battle. Yeah, you can see all of the shots just kind of getting perfectly situated there. Another unit of Swordmasters is coming in, but my archers are going to be focusing on that. Yeah, and just look at their units starting to break. But at the same time, like, what does the Swaby player do against Rome? Rome is pretty overpowered. That's why I usually don't play them too often. Uh, but they're just so awesome, you know, when you really want a good, grindy infantry battle. Let's see if we can uh, see some good animations here. Come on, Swabies. Oh, they're just under relentless archer fire, though, which is difficult. And their flank, you can see, is, is quite exposed so that I'm able to just really fire right down on onto the flanks of these units. Yeah, just like that. Really depleting their hit points, which is too bad. Wait, we are holding very well. My uh, my first cohort is starting to, to waver, though, just because they are getting quite depleted. But you can see that there's a little bit of a gap here where the Swabians are starting to flank around. But unfortunately, my first cohort is just emptying their Pila into these units here. Yeah, they've got our backs to them, so that's not... Their backs to us, I should say, so that's not a good situation. And we've got some Berserkers coming in as well. But that's my next target. That's the ones that I'm focusing now. Excuse me. But they are moving right into my next line of defense. Yeah, they pretty much broke that one flank. So here they come onto the next units. But unfortunately, they, the further they move onto this side of the river, the more it opens it up for me to get some good flanking fire. So that is not a good situation there. I am starting to run out with some of my archers, though. You can see that I'm moving here to get them into melee. Let's take a look at the other side of the battle. So it's still a very slow grind, but the Triarii are engaging the Sacred Band at this point. But uh, unfortunately, this is a battle that the Triarii will lose. The Sacred Band is just far too elite. But it looks like he's sending in some Praetorians, but the Archer Fire is just going to be relentless on this unit here. He's going to have to be careful with that. That is a very expensive unit to lose to Archer Fire like, like this. But you can see that the Carthaginian player, I think he realizes that the Swabian player is having a really tough time. He's pretty much just down to his archers now. All of his other infantry is committed, so I am... My scouts are reporting to me that there's four fresh units of Libyan infantry moving over to the Swabian side. So we have our work cut out for us. We are not done by a long stretch. But we are making short work of these Swabian berserkers. We're just too heavily armored to really, you know, do any kind of damage. Kill that Berserker. Slaughter him, you Roman. Yes. Oh, excellent. You can see they've retreated back to the other side of the river. And just look at the dead inside this river crossing here. I've still got one unit of first cohort that uh, is still alive as well, so I'm going to send them to chase the infantry of the Swabians across the river. They are getting cut down by arrow fire as well, but they're so depleted at this point, I'd almost rather that they, they use their ammo on this unit. 
Looks like we got another unit of archers as well. Horse runners moving forwards. I think they're going to try to get a position behind my men to fire. But I'm wondering if my first cohort still has some javelins to throw. That would be pretty awesome. These guys would just get destroyed by them. Oh, yes, but here we go. I see that he really has a heavy archer present, so I'm going to try to, you know, get some good cavalry charges with my Sochi Equite Extraordinary. But unfortunately, us trying to get through our own lines was uh, really nerfing our charge like that. You can see only like five or seven of them getting a good charge into these horse runners. But as more of them filter through, I feel like we should be able to break through. But here comes the Noble Riders in Retaliation. So we got a nice uh, cavalry battle that's just exploded here. I think that the Noble Riders are heavy melee cav. So they may fare pretty well against my uh, Equites. Just because they are shock cav. Another unit being committed to the mix as well. But yeah, I'm pushing in my archers as well at this point, just to kind of give give some more men to the cause. Try to deplete his noble riders even further. But yeah, I'm going to start to move forwards my Evocati cohort as well, because I see that the Carthaginian hoplites have arrived, or the Libyan hoplites. Looks like he's sending his African pikemen that are fully chevroned up as well over to my flank. So it's not looking good for me. I've got a lot of work still le yet, yet to do. But it looks like all of these archers used up their ammo, so they're charging in against the Praetorians. But unfortunately, these archers are just going to get wrecked to the might of the Praetorians. five of them kind of ganging up on this one Praetorian here. Oh man, he's just getting kill after kill though. And it looks like the ar most of the archers are breaking. Or are they? No, they're just getting pretty depleted. But yeah, so my ally is holding pretty well over here. These Triarii are still fighting the Sacred Band. I, I love Triarii. They're so sturdy. But yeah, so you can see over here that my battle lines have kind of broken off a little bit. My Sochi Equite Extraordinary is just getting destroyed by this, uh, these Libyan Peltas here. Or these Libyan Infantry, my apologies. But I've got this nice little gap over here, which is a little concerning for me, because they do have some cavalry left. So I have my Praetorian Guard and my Eagle Cohort in reserve. But now I'm having to fight the Carthaginians over here. They're doing, they're doing some good damage to my men here. And here comes the pikes as well. I'm pushing my archers over onto this flank here so, I, so that they can't move like uh, through this gap here. Because I want my archers to kind of kind of slow them down a bit. Because at this point, I'm still doing well. My Libyan infantry is... Or sorry, the Carthaginian's Libyan infantry is breaking. So I don't. I feel like I don't want to commit my last line of defense just yet. But I've got to be super careful with these pikes. You can see that I'm just really ignoring them for now. I've got my archers going into them. But I'm redeploying to try to flank around these, uh, these Libyan infantry and horse runners. And I am breaking them, which is excellent. The Swaby player does move his general into melee, but you can see that now he's in range of my Balearic Slingers over here. So I am going to move them forwards to be able to fire down on him at, uh, at a time when my Roman infantry breaks in front. Yeah, here comes the Pila as well for my last line here. Yeah. 
my Praetorian guards standing confidently. The Eagle cohort on the flanks as well. Oh, getting so, getting a lot of friendly fire though on on uh, my archers, but that's okay. I'm just mowing down this unit here. That is insane. This poor unit of Libyan infantry. Yeah, they are starting to waver. No wonder though. Yeah, still getting some good shots with my Pila. So that saved this unit of Evokati cohort over here because they were outflanked by two units. So now they can just focus on the front lines once again. And then over here as well, I'm trying to push on the flanks of these pikes to try to get them out of formation. But they are gold chevron upgrades, so their morale is just going to be insane. I wonder actually if we can see their, their stats here. Yeah, their morale is 71, so that's quite high. But my general's moving forwards over here. Uh, looks like more infantry coming over to my side. All of the slingers are moving over. Looks like we got some sacred band moving over. The general's moving over. So they're just throwing everything at me on that other side. Most of his infantry has been engaged over here. I think his plan is just to hold as long as he can over here and help his ally wrap up my flank and then they can kind of double pincer uh, my ally and hopefully destroy his army as well. But uh, these Praetorians, they are going to be a tough challenge for the Sacred Man. The Praetorians will have the upper hand as well just because I believe they are a sorted unit. So the Sacred Band can hold for a very long time, but they're just not going to get many kills. Oh, these no mercenary noble fighters as well, getting some good shots with their Pila into the reinforcing Praetorian Guard unit. Yeah, all, all of their backs are turned to these noble fighters. That's very brave. But uh, let's jump back over to my side. Where you can see, finally, my units are starting to waver a little bit over here. The Evil Cutty Cohort's getting quite depleted against this African Pikeman unit. But they're down to uh, 32 men, which is good. Here comes a nice charge from some cavalry over into my slingers. They have used up all their ammo at this point. Yeah, these slingers really don't stand much of a chance. Yep, they are breaking. No surprise there, though. But I've got a fresh unit of my Evil Cotty cohort, or sorry, my Eagle cohort here. They've got their Pila as well. They're going to be firing down onto any targets that they see exposing themselves. I wish they would fire on that cavalry on the left-hand flank there, though. But here they go. They are moving into battle. Yeah, these Praetorians are just making short work of the resistance that's left over here. Looks like we got the uh, Carthaginian general over here. Looks like he wants to do battle with my Roman general, and I am happy to oblige there. My general actually does have some chevron upgrades as well. So that's going to give me the edge. It's kind of really hard to tell who is who. Yeah, already down to 19 from 30. I've just lost one. So that Carthaginian general will die very soon. Uh, I did miss it, but the Swabian general was also slain. 
And we're pretty much wrapping up this side of the battlefield. If we kind of look over to the other side, uh, the last of the noble fighters is engaged in melee over here. So we can, we can watch these noble fighters for a little bit as well as the battle is wrapping up. Oh, snap. That guy just wrecked a Praetorian Guard. This guy with the little black plume on the left-hand side here. Ah, oh, and there they go. They're starting to break. Those, those uh, units are probably going to be slaughtered. Yep. I love when they slaughter the remaining units. Oh my goodness. Just taking his sword arm off. Or no, that's his leg. Yeah, that's his leg. Oh, that sucks. Praetorian Guard showing no mercy over here. Alright, let's jump to the last part of the battle over here. It's actually uh, just about to wrap up. The Sacred Band are the only ones that are holding. But I'm about to outflank them with some more of my Roman infantry. Yeah, so now they're going to have to fight on two fronts here. Which is almost the only way to break Sacred Band is to get, you know, around behind them. And there they go. Costly victory, but a victory nonetheless. Let's take a look at the results before we end the ep or the battle. It's not really an episode. So looking at my army first. So my cavalry wasn't too effective. This one somehow got 120, but I don't know how. Um, but my slinger's doing excellent. My archer's doing pretty well. And then my first cohort was my first line. So they did pretty solid. And then my Evocati cohort, they were kind of the main grunt force. They were kind of the cleanup crew, so to speak, of that first wave. And then my Praetorian Guard and my Eagle cohort doing pretty well as well. Looking at my ally here, uh, it was pretty hit or miss. Those Triarii still managed to get 42 kills, uh, even though they were under all that archer fire. Uh, his Praetorian Guard, some did okay, some didn't even see battle. And then his Praetorians, some did decent. This one only 22, though. His archers and his slingers didn't really get any kills, though. And neither did his general. Uh, so looking at the Swaby player, so good with his general. His cavalry, not too bad. Uh, a lot of these horse runners weren't really worth it, I don't think. They did get some kills, but not many. Uh, Berserkers, disappointing. Unfortunately, it wasn't his fault, though I focused them with my slingers. I, I know how deadly Berserkers can be. And then these Night, night Runners, Spearwall, uh, didn't really get any kills. And then his Swordmasters, they probably did the best out of all of them. And then the Carthaginians doing well with his Archers and Slingers, getting a ton of kills there. Uh, his two units of African Pikemen doing solid. His Libyan Infantry that was sent against me, one did okay, but the others got slaughtered. And the Swords got slaughtered. The Noble Fighters, one did okay, the other one got slaughtered. And the Sacred Band... Uh, that's not enough kills for Sacred... Well, actually, I say that. That's probably decent kills for Sacred Band, because these Spear Hoplite units really get no kills in Rome 2. But, uh, yeah, thanks very much to my ally for joining. Thanks very much to my enemies. This was a really fun battle. I'm a huge fan of River Crossings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Total War Rome 2 content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.